Picked him up a spot on pit road. And then when the trouble happened to Kyle Busch, that put him in the lead. Yeah, Dave Ellens, great call for the pit box. Remember, this is a car that ran long. And that caution came out. It cycled him up inside the top five. And then Eric Jones has kept it there. All right, the 11s, you know, keeping the gap pretty good. They've got a couple lap cars right here. They're going to encounter somewhere around the exit of turn four. Let's just so, see how Jones will survive this one. Side by side right here in front of the leaders down the front straightaway. I met the dude in person, so it would be pretty cool to have him win at this racetrack again. Be very respectful. See that right there? He just in a year that out. doesn't suck. Now this is the problem. You got to time this right, and he's done it. He's timed it right now. And I, he's he's going to make it. Nice job, oh, I Jones. do it's indeed hope. Wait up. Ah, shit. I was hoping 14 would go put in a block. Rick, whatever you do, try to catch up to Denny and try to cancel him out. Do this one stinking thing if you're gonna... Like, cancel and chase out on the road courses. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good corner for Denny right there. He kept it close. He's closing Eric. in on the Eric. rubber. We've seen him time into three real deep. Yeah, I think right. No. Damn it. Huh? Got within a car lane. Woo. Probably two. Good on one. Is that one and two? Pretty good. Really good. I definitely <laughs> thought he was going to pull a Logano from last, last start. There we go. Oh, God. He's probably going to surge right towards him. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no way Jones is going to let him go by. No fucking way. He's probably going to pull a nasty block. Bank on it. No, 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 no. Yeah, there's no way. No, happy thoughts, man. Come on. Happy thoughts. Oh, this could be interesting. And he can't get there. Jones has got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Less wow, time. And, and without anybody wrecking each other. Right, wow. Denny, right? Wins at this racetrack again. This time in the That's legendary good. 43. Last time anyone won under the green flag without any rain in the 43 was John Andretti in 1989 Martinsville. Wow. I think that was it. Because the only other time the 43 has been in victory lane was through Mother Nature at Daytona in 2014. The July race. <laughs> Just mentioned that. On a track that isn't even a plate track. Nice job. I think this might give him a full time gig next year. I would say so, yeah. Rejuvenating the 43.
Texas to do it, Eric. You put the 43 in victory lane at Darlington. What does that mean to you to put Richard Petty in victory lane tonight? I get a half. <laughs> it's over, I get a half, I win. You take this. Richard has been to uh, victory lane at Darlington probably since he last won here. So just awesome. Just so proud of these guys. Petty GMS, the Focus Packer crew. Uh, man, we've been so close here and there all year. And, I didn't think today was going to be the day. You know, it was going to be a tough one to win, I knew, but no better fitting place, man. I love this track. I love this race. And on that trophy twice, man, I was pumped beyond once, but it had it on there twice. Pretty cool. i got to ask you about the final few laps. How in the world did you hold off Denny Hamlin, and how much were you driving out of the rearview mirror or the windshield? Well, I man, I was focused forward. Honestly, that's the calmest almost I've been in the race car going for a win ever really I think back to the last time I went in here and was driving my guts out my nerves were pounding my stomach was hurting and today was just you know business as usual and uh just feel good about this track and knew Denny would run me clean and it was gonna be tough for him to pass you know it's tough to pass all day and we got a good restart there but uh man so proud of everybody just <laughs> what a dream come true, that's all you can say. What sort of redemption is this for you, Eric? Let go by Joe Gibbs Racing. These guys took a chance on you. They put you in the 43. Now you put them in victory lane. Well, I mean, uh, I, I never lost any belief in myself through any of it. I knew I could still do it, and, and I just knew we needed to grow the program to do it. And, and we have. We've, we've, we've brought on a lot of great people in the last year. Dave Allen's called a great race today. His, his first cup win, that's pretty cool for him. So... Uh, I'm excited, man. We've been talking about this day a long time, and it is redemption in a lot of ways. Very fitting that it's here at this race again. You know, I felt like this was the race that saved my job the first time around, and uh, coming back here with this win, I guess it puts you back on the map. You seem almost like you're in disbelief yourself. Well, <laughs> it's had a lot of good stuff go our way. You know, we got the lead there with the 18 losing a motor, and like, man, we got a good shot if we can just get clear. Calvin, by the way, was you know, not even alive yet. We just weren't quite with the pace some of those guys degree. up front. I knew yeah. we took the lead. I'm like, man, 20 laps, I can just run hard. And those last two, I was I was losing the balance a lot. I've been running really hard, but uh, it, was, it was just enough. So I was really proud. How about that, Darlington fans? Eric Jones, a two-time winner of the Southern 500, puts Richard Petty, Marty Gallagher, in their first year as Petty GMS in victory lane in the Southern 500. Eric Jones is going to be making his way to the Ruoff Mortgage Victory Lane. We mentioned it was back in September 4th, 1967. You saw right there Lee Petty, Richard Petty, and the celebration that took place. But 55 years to the day since Richard Petty had the 43 in Victory Lane here at Darlington. Uh, Eric mentioned it all in his interview, right? It was a great call to run a little long. They bought a yellow. Great driving from the man behind the wheel. Great patience of building this 43 program. You know, a lot of things had to go right. They always do. No one wins this race without things going their way. Uh, and the 43, most importantly, when things went their way, they absolutely took advantage of it. And we heard Eric mention it. When the 18 blew the engine, he just knew he had to stay in front. Well, let's get the other side of that story. Uh, while the race was just coming to an end, Kyle Busch came out of his hauler, and Kim caught up with him. Here was that interview. Kyle Busch leads 155 laps before your Jeez. early exit. What happened? Uh, engine broke. Uh, just unfortunate circumstances for us tonight. The guys did a great job, brought a really fast in, man. <coughs> Clear to Camry. Just uh, real proud of the effort and all the stuff that. Uh, have done and gone through with uh, just all the news and everything you know going on through the year they they've dug in they've never given up and they, they continue so just had a great car and um, don't come out with anything to show for it that's that's what i really really hate about it you mentioned the team digging in with this news cycle you're going through what about you how are you feeling right now i don't know tomorrow the sun will, the sun will come up tomorrow Kyle Busch obviously frustrated with this evening's result. I'll be honest with you, man. That, that's, a, that's a good sign, I think, to see that kind of composure from Kyle after a tough, disappointing end. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect from Kyle going into the playoffs, what kind of team they could be. They were out here tonight really strong, maybe the best car in several points of the race between him and Truex. 
Uh, but still, a pretty positive attitude after that. And, you know, it gives me some confidence in that 18 team going forward. I mean, I ain't Kyle for the last two or three weeks. He's been just very matter of fact. He's, he's been very... Uh, it's a beautiful night. car. I'm going to go get my job done in very adverse conditions. Uh, trying to figure wow. out what's got going on for next year. But yeah, you know, good for you, Ray Jones. You're in that one. This lane. You're a great this guy when I met you in person. Soak this one up as much as you can. To be a Southern 500 winner is an honor, and it was well earned tonight. You talk about crown jewels, and you've got the Daytona 500, you've got the World 600, you've got the Southern 500. And the oldest raceway that NASCAR runs on, been racing here since 1950. And now, Eric Jones joins 16 others, 17 different winners this season. That ties the most through 27 races. Damn, we've been on fire been this year, that's for sure. We saw dominant performances out of the Toyotas until mechanical issues ended their night. In the end, it was Eric Jones and Petty GMS that celebrate the victory lane. There are those of us who earn